Hi guys, I wanted to make a quick tutorial for using pandas in AWS Lambda. I had some issues during this myself and I thought putting together a quick video could help others as well. So we will do this as simple as possible using the console and uploading our function and Python dependencies through the web browser. For the demo code, I wanted to showcase an everyday task, like grabbing data from an API, loading it into pandas, and then tying it onto a schedule so that it can run every day or so. Yeah, so in our Python code here, we're going to read data from the Star Wars REST API, the Swapy and it's going to be data on the planets. So it's going to load it into a pandas data frame, change the index to the name of the planet, convert the population string into a numeric value, and print out the planet that has the highest population. So now we can go over to the AWS console in the Lambda section and create a new function. So we can call this one anything. So I can do uh, SW sample, so this stands for Star Wars sample. The runtime that we need to select is Python 3.8 and then hit create function. So as this one's creating, we can go over to our code and I'll include the function.zip archive in the description, but this zip archive just contains pandas and numpy so that we can successfully run this code. So the last step that we need to do is include our lambda function.py file into our function.zip. I'll do this one through the command line just appending it to the archive. And then we'll go back into the AWS console. Now that our function's created, scroll down to our function code and upload that deployment package. Now that we have our function updated with our pandas dependencies, we can run a quick test. So to do that, we will go up here um, to test, and then we'll create a, uh, a sample test. You can call it anything and keep the existing values in there. We won't be needing them. And then we'll run our test. And from the logs of the test, we're gonna be looking for that print message. So this should show us that we have um, Coruscant is the planet name that has the highest population count. So it looks like we have our runtime functional here with one test performed. The last step here is to put this on a schedule. So to do this in Lambda, you use the service CloudWatch. So we'll go into add a trigger. We'll go into CloudWatch events. And then for this one, I'm going to create a new rule. So for mine, I'm going to call it every minute. And for the example, we'll run this at a rate of every one minute, the Lambda function will kick off, but a more realistic um, the rate might be once or twice a day, something like that. So I'll add this trigger. And we can now see in our designer view of our Lambda function, there's this um, trigger here for CloudWatch events. So let's test out to make sure that this um, was able to invoke our function through the CloudWatch events. So I'll go into CloudWatch logs and we'll bring up our Lambda function log stream. Okay, so it looks like we have one stream in here 
and we can see right now that, let's see, so Coruscant right here, this is most likely our first invocation of our function that we did manually. And let's try to refresh and look for another invocation. Okay, and we got a preceding one. So you can see the timestamps here at 1529 and 1531. So it was able to kick off from the, the scheduled uh, rate at one per minute. All right, so this looks like it's working as we expected. So again, I wanted just to show the simplest way to do this, but let me know if anyone wants to see something else either through the AWS command line interface um, or if we wanted to see this integrated through some kind of a, a CI pipeline or even if we want to see how we'd upload um, more Python dependencies. So this process should work for Python dependencies that are under, I think it's 50 megabytes, but if you are higher than that, you'll have to use a different method. So something through like an S3 bucket. So if anyone would like to see that, um, let me know in the comments. Um, thanks.